morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and anywhere you are watching me from. My name is Fina and you are welcome to Fina Talk. Wow, what an amazing time coming your way this morning. You know, as I always say in this program, anytime I have the opportunity to come your way, I'm so glad and I'm not taking it for granted. You are welcome to Fina Talk. I trust you had a wonderful week and I tr trust you win all the way. Glory to God. And that today's episode is something that everybody relates to. It's something that everybody relates to in life. And the topic of today is life is a choice. You know, many people make different choices in life without knowing the choice which they make. So life is a choice. It, it all depends on you. What kind of life do you want to live? Then you make the choice of the kind of life. They normally say in this parable, they said, the way you, lie your, you lay your bed, that is how you will lie on it. The way you lay your bed, that is how you rely on it. So that is it. So make the right choice today in life so that you will um, have a good life in the future. Make a life, good choice in the life of your family. Good choice in the life of your children. Good choice in the husband you marry, the wife you marry, place you live. Yeah. You can make a choice in the place, the kind of place you want to live. You can make a choice. Make choice of friends. Don't just have every kind of friend. The kind of choice you make depends on your kind of vision. Your kind of vision. What God has given to you. Where God has said he wants to take you to. So your, your choice in life depends on your kind of life that the kind of life that you want to lead a child God. So our choice that we make in life is very, very important. Very, very important. Glory to God. How God wants us to make choices. What God, God is interested about the kind of choice we make. Like some people who said, uh, when you ask them, what do you want to become? in like, I don't know. Or what do you want to do? I don't know. They don't have idea. You should know what you want to do in life. You should know what you want to become in life. Then it will now guide you in the kind of life, even the kind of school you should go. Because if you want to be a lawyer, you will not be going to the school of, the, of a doctor. Do you understand? If you want to be an engineer, you will not be going to the school of um, an accountant. So you see, a choice, choice is very, very important. So you have to uh, make a, a choice of the kind of uh, thing you want to study. After you have made that choice, then that will now determine the kind of school that you need to go. So it's very, very important. And also in our daily life, the same thing. What kind of life do you want to live? We determine the kind of friends you should keep. What kind of life do you, if you want to be, uh, you, you find yourself, you become a, 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 a maybe a drunkard. You will be in the company of drunkards. You cannot make a choice not to, <laughs> to be in, 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 in the company of bankers. So you see, the kind of life. But God advises us to, to make the right choice in life. Because the right choice in life will determine the kind of life we will live. The right choice in life will determine the kind of um, places we will be. I can tell you a story of mine. I'm, I, I make a choice in my life 
since I was a child. That I am a Christian. I'm 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 God fearing person. I'm a child of God. And since then, everything about my life has been on that line. I have never deviated. Sometimes, yeah, you can find yourself sometimes it's like you want to deviate from uh, the, the plan of God upon your life. You just catch yourself. You say, no, that is not the, the, the right path for me. Then you turn back. But you know some people find themselves in that kind of situation, you know, they not find it's so difficult for them to turn back. Never find it so difficult for you to turn back at any time. Never. Never find it so difficult. Anytime you know you are not in God's plan, in God's direction for your life, turn around and take the right path. Because it's very, very important for you. If not, you continue in that direction, you'll find yourself in a place you don't want to be. So I made the decision in my life that I'm a child of God. Though I was born in a Christian home, my parents made those choices. They made the choice that they are Christians. And they, 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 they gave birth to us and we were born. We find ourselves in a Christian home. I know some people, uh, they, were, they were not born in a Christian home. So they grew up and now became Christian by themselves. But I grew up as a, as a Christian. But I need to take the decision, make up uh, my mind of what kind of Christian did I want to be. So as I grew up, you know, start understanding some things, I made some choices for myself, for my Christian life, to be more better than the way I met it with my parents. It's a choice. I could have still decided to go in the direction of my parents. Though later my parents, you know, change, you know, the direction of the Christianity at that time. I could have decided to still go in the direction of my parents. But as I was growing up, I was getting more understanding. I must have I was I was having more knowledge about a Christian life. Then I change and I take the path. I took the path that I, I, that I am I'm in today. So it was a choice. I could have made a choice that I don't want to follow my parents, which many uh, children, they did. They made choice that they don't, they don't want to follow their parents. They follow in their own way. And at the end of their way, what happened is this destruction. Some parents also, they were not Christian. Then the child grew up, have more understanding, and make up their mind they want to be Christian. And at that time, they make a right decision, choice in their life. And later, they bring their parents into a Christian life. What an amazing choice. What an amazing decision to change someone from from uh, a, a path of darkness, a path of destruction, to a path of life. Glory to God. It's very, very important. I would like us to read some, some, some one. I love this one of my favorite scripture in the Bible. Psalm chapter one, verse one. Psalm one from verse one. Glory to God. Let's read. He said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. You hear that? This is a choice. Life, choice in life. The right choice that you make in life. The right choice you make in life. Say, so life is a choice. It's our topic of today. Life is a choice. Glory to God. Is a blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standing in the way of the sinners, neither seated in the seat of the discomfort. 
glory to God. It, this is a choice. It's a, it's a choice that you make that I don't want to be in the company of this, of that, of that. It's a life choice. Praise God. And in verse 2 says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law do he meditate day and night. Glory to God. This is a life choice. Choice of life. The kind of choice we make in life. He says delight. The Bible is telling us here. The man that made this kind of choice, this is what he, he become. And let's read verse 3. And he shall be like a tree, glory to God, <laughs> planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Oh, glory to God. Whatsoever that man does, prosper. Why? Because he made the right choice in life. The right choice in life. What choice have you made today? Are you okay with the choice? If you are not okay, you have the time to turn around. And take the path that God wants you to take. Life is a choice. Make the good choice in life. The kind of person you want to marry. So that at the end of it, you are not going to be suffering. Make the right choice. And before you make this choice, you know, discuss with God. Discuss with the Holy Spirit. He will guide you and give you direction of the kind of choice you make in life. You cannot make any choice apart, you know, away from the Holy Ghost. As a child of God. It's very, very important. In that verse 3, it says, He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. Do you see? Let's read verse 4. The ungodly is not so. He said, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, neither sinners in the congregation of the righteous. And verse 6, the last verse. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So, which one do you want? Is it the way that perish? Or the way that seem right before God and prosper in everything he does? Life is a choice. Make a, the right decision, right choice in your life today. Don't just make a choice, you know, anything that comes your way, you know, count. Anything that comes your way, work. No, don't let it be. Don't let your life be like that. Let your life be in the pattern, pattern that God wants you to go. Like as, as I said earlier, that for example, you want to read, you want to become a lawyer. You cannot go to the school of the doctor. You cannot make a decision that you want to become a lawyer and you go to the school of the doctor. You will be studying something very contrary 
to what you want to study. At the end of the day, it's going to be chaos. Because what you want to study is not what you are studying. And you are not changing your mind to now study maybe doctor. And you want you wanted to study lawyer. You are not you are not changing your mind. You still put in your mind I'm studying law. I'm studying law here. Then you are going to this poor doctor. Doesn't work like that. Life is a choice. Make a good choice today in your life, in your finances. Where do you spend your money? Do you spend your money in drinking and things which are not relevant? Where do you go to? Do you go to club, you know, drink, you know, live a life that is not glorifying God? Even you, you are not happy about it. Yes, there's kind of people, they live a life which they are not happy about, but they keep on living it. Why can't you make a choice? Make a decision, make up your mind to turn away from this. Say, I don't like this. I need to change it. But there's some people, they live a life which they don't like, but they keep living it. You just need to make a choice. Say so life is a choice. Make a good choice in life today. Verse 1, tell it all. Say, blessed is the man that walk not in the cancer of the ungodly. Are you hanging out with some friends? And those friends, all what they talk about, it's other people, you know, you know, doing things which are not right, and you are still there, it's a wrong company. Just make a choice and turn around away from them. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 from verse 19. And God said, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that, that both down and thy seed may live. You hear that? God said, I created he a bad and good. But me that created the bad and the good, I'm asking you, choose life. opportunity to make a choice. So life is a choice. God brought us to this life to make choice. That's why we have free will. We have free will. Make a choice. But God is telling us, make the choice right. Make the right choice. I'm not going to make a choice for you so that you will not say, I did. 
I make a choice for you. Like what happened in the Garden of Eden. God created the man and the woman. And serpent came and deceived the woman. And after then, God now said to the man, because the woman was not there when God gave the instruction to the man that don't touch this fruit. Eat every other thing in the garden, but this one, don't touch it. You remember in the account in the beginning, that's Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1. You read it down. You see this account I'm talking about. God created the heavens and the earth. And God saw that it was not good for a man to be alone. God now took the rib of a man and created a woman and brought the woman before the man. And the man immediately he saw the woman and said, wow. This is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh shall be called woman. The man was the one that named the woman. God did not say this is a woman for you. But it was the man that, that named it. Because the Bible said that Adam named every beast, every animal. The lions we see to the elephant, you know, um, everything you see, the names of animals you see today. Adam was the one that gave it to, to them. It was not God. God said, name them. And he started naming them. Say, you, you are a lion, you are an elephant, you are, you are a tiger, you, you are this. So when the woman came, when, when Adam saw the woman, Adam named the woman. He said, she shall be called woman because she was taken out of a man. So both of them started living in the garden. That was the beginning of marriage in the garden was the beginning of marriage family then God gave the instruction before the woman was created for the man God gave instruction to the man don't eat this food I think he could have communicated the instruction to the woman say God has told us not to eat this food but the woman Serpent deceived the woman, and you all know the story. So when God was now calling Adam, because every cool of the evening, God come down to have fellowship with the man. God was now calling the man. Say, so where are thou? He said, I'm hiding. So why are you hiding? What happened? You have never told me you hide before. What has happened? You have made choice. There, there, there is wrong choice that you made now that is making you to hide. <laughs> wow. You have made the wrong choice. It was a choice that Adam and Eve made in the garden that they want to eat the fruit. So that their eyes can be open because that is what Satan told them because that is what Satan always tells people. Do this, make this step, take this step so that you will become and become that. But it's the end of destruction. Because Satan never have the truth to tell you. But it's only God's word that have the truth. The God's word is what contain the truth that we need to hear in life. So, Adam told God that, God, I'm naked. So why? Who told you you are naked? He said, yes. God said, did you eat the fruit I asked you not to eat? Did you do what I asked you not to do? He said, yes, I did. It was the woman you gave me that makes me to do it. It was a wrong communication. Since the woman you gave to me, God said, okay. That's where God now said, he that findeth a wife find it a good thing and obtain favor from God. When you find a wife, come and tell me. Come and tell me that I have found a wife and you will obtain my favor, my blessing. That's why I said, when you find a wife, go to the church for direction so that the blessings of God and favor will rest upon your marriage. 
That is what God has instructed. Now he said, he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. I'm not going to select for you anymore. Like some people say, God is asking me to marry this person. Mm -mm. God is telling you, you found, bring it before me, then I, I'll proclaim blessing on you. But you are the one to find. How do you find? You find the one that is suitable for you to walk in the path that God has set for you to walk. You are not going to find the one that will destroy you. If you find the one that destroy you, God also is still watching you because you are the one that found. So when you make a choice in life, God said, this choice you made, is it the right one for you? If you say yes, God said, okay, go, you can go ahead. That is God's, that, that, that is not God's perfect will. God's perfect way is that you, you made it the right choice that is consistent with his, 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 his call upon your life. But if you insist, you know some people insist. They insist that, I, I, no, this is what I want to do. I have heard that they insist. Okay, if you insist, go ahead. It's, it's your choice. Then later, they start having trouble in that decision which they made, that choice in life which they made, they start regretting. Because at that time, they can't go to anybody. They can't turn to anyone. Because why? They told them. They ask them, is it the right? They say, yes, it's the right choice. Like, you know, the song of, um, there's a song. I, I love that song, though it's not a Christian song, but I, you know, I like it when uh, he, he normally sang it. I think, who sang the song? He said, this choice I made. You know, that he didn't know that this choice he made was the wrong choice. That when he saw the woman, I think Lucky Dube, something like that, you know. I'm a music person, so I love music. So, uh, it's Lucky Dube that, that sang that song. He said, I didn't know behind the beauty lie the true color. So, you see, when you are making choice in life concerning anything, you need to pray. You need to seek God's face and know if it is the direction that God wants you to take. God said, make the right choice. Life is a choice. God has, has presented to us life. And now he said, make the choice. Make the right choice. So if they make right choice, we are telling them about Christ. They, they said, no, no, no. They have taken the wrong decision. And say, no, 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 I don't want to believe in Christ. Believing Christ in your life will be the best thing you have ever done. <laughs> you know, done in your life. Best decision and choice you have ever made in your life. And at the end, you will see it. Because now you can see where the world is turning to. But who do you run to? Who do you hold on to? It's God. Nobody can help you. The society cannot help you right now. Your government cannot help you. That which you hold on to cannot help you. Only what can help you right now is the higher and greater power, which is God. Make the right choice today. Life is a choice. Make the right choice and live in it. Don't take wrong decision in your life. Of, of Adam and Eve 
because they make the wrong decision, they listen to the wrong voice. That's the most important thing. Why people make some wrong choices in life today is because they listen to wrong voices. Your friend may be the wrong voice. Even your family member can be the wrong voice. But you just need to, you know, be attentive to the Holy Spirit. I'm talking to Christian now. Know what God wants for you. Know the kind of life God wants you to live. I meet some people, there's nothing you can do to them for them to change where they are. I'm, I'm talking about the right, the right one, that the right people that made the right decision and choice in life. They hold on to say, this is the path I know God has set for me. And I'm not going to move from it. There's nothing you can convince them with. You can't give them anything for them to deviate from that path that God have said for them which they have seen and they hold on to it. Glory to God. They can't deviate from it. They say, no, I have no clearly. So, in the path that God has set for you, that is where you now make choices to fit in into the direction and path that God has set for you. You now know the kind of man to marry or the kind of husband to marry. You now know the kind of places you should go. You now know the kind of friends that you should keep, you should hang around with. You now know the things that you need to say and the ones you should not say is a choice. Oh, glory to God. Life is a choice. I've made many choices in my life. I know somebody's asking, Fina, you want to tell me that you have not made any wrong choice in life? Yes, I have. I've made some wrong, wrong choices. But immediately, I know that this is not the right one for me. I turn. I turn from it. We learn every day. Every day, we learn every day. Uh, from our mistake, we learn to correct uh, and put the right things in place. Yes. I made, I've taken, you know, a lot of good decisions in my life. That this is the path which I know, I know that I know that God has set for me. And I need to fit in things that are consistent with that path that God has set for me. I don't want to fix things anyhow. I don't want to say, oh, anything go for me. No, anything does not go for me. I know what I want, know what I want to fix there. I don't go to places that I know that this place is not going to like uh, give me uh, what I want. I go to the place, I go to right places at the right time. And I do the right thing at the right time. Say the right thing at the right time. The places you go that, that contaminate your belief. Do you want to keep going there? No. Places you go that you are not happy going there. Do you want to keep going there? No. As a child of God, no. No. You don't want to go to the place that contaminates your belief. So, it's a choice. Life is a choice. Make the right choice in today. Make the right choice today. And also you can make the right choice for you to give your heart to the Lord. Take the right decision for you to give your heart to the Lord today. That is the best decision and choice you can ever make in your whole life. That you will be glad that you did. In this world of chaos today, you need to come to Christ. Because in Christ, you have everything. You have the peace of mind, the joy that you cannot even imagine. Even in the midst of darkness, you still be rejoicing. Because why? There is hope. There is eternal life. There is blessing. There is fullness of joy. The, the, Jesus said, the joy, the peace that I give unto you is not as the world gives to you. Because the world cannot give you the kind of peace I give you. What does not even have peace to give to you? See, but the peace I give to you is everlasting peace. It's the word that wear within your soul. 
Even in the midst of darkness, you are still smiling. In the midst of situation, you are still rejoicing. You are still bouncing in the Lord. And people are wondering, how are you managing to come out? It's spiritual. Life is spiritual. So, are you watching me here today and you have not given your heart to the Lord? And you say, Fina, I want to make this decision today. I want to give my heart to the Lord. I want the Lord to be the, the I want it to come into my heart, be the Lord and Savior of my life. Do you want to make that choice? I will give you opportunity today for you to make that right choice in your life. It's the best thing that can ever happen to you. So if you are watching me or you watch this video later, take this decision right now. By raising one of your hands, I put the other one in your chest and say after me. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. I believe he died and God raised him from the dead. I believe it's alive in me today. And I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life. From this day forward, I believe in his name. Hallelujah. I have eternal life now. I have eternal life in my spirit. I am born again. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I, I am now a child of God. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Congratulations to you. If you said those simple words of salvation. Glory to God. You are welcome to the family of beloved. We are all things are possible. Glory to God. Congratulations to you. I pray for you now. Father Lord, I thank you. Thank you, God, for those ones that have declared Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Father, because eternal life is theirs right now. Thank you, Father, God, that they have been plucked from darkness into light. Thank you, Jesus, because you have become the Savior of their life. That wicked one have no power over them anymore. Their life is now belongs to you, oh God. Thank you for saving them, O oh God. Thank you for giving them this grace to receive Christ into their heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I bless them with your presence right now. I bless them with your word. I bless them with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare, O oh God, that you, 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 you guide them to walk in the newness of their life. That Satan have no power over them anymore from henceforth. Their life now belongs to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I give you praise, O oh God. I name the, the name of Christ upon them right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Glory, glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. I'm so excited that you gave your heart to the Lord. You made that decision. You made that choice in life. Glory be to God. Thank you everyone for joining Fina Talk every Sunday. Thank you so much for sharing my video and also subscribing to my YouTube. Wow. Thank you for all of you that will be subscribing to my YouTube channel and also sharing my video on Facebook until I come to your way again. God bless you and have a wonderful Sunday. And God bless you. Keep making the right choice. 
in life. God bless you. Bye-bye.